Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Age Inquisition. I really wish I had more space on my SSD drive, because SSD drive? Is that like saying, you know, solid straight drive drive? Yeah. But you guys know what I mean. <laughs> wish I had more space on my SSD, because this game, the loading time, like just to get into the game is like, holy Right. I could read for a little while. The temple of sacred ashes. What's left of it? Temple of sacred ashes That's rediscovered. When you walked out of the fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Oh. Up the map. Where's the codex? Collection. Let's expand. I guess just... Why would you press that button when you can just press this? That's just weird. Where is the... Oh, there it is. I wanted to look at... Jeez. There it is. According to legend, the sacred ashes of Andraste were carried out of the Imperium by a Havard, disciple of Our Lady. Wounded by Devinter's soldiers when he tried to stop Andraste's capture, Havard was too late in coming to Minrathus to stop the execution. All he found was her ashes, left out in the elements. As soon as Havard touched them, Andraste appeared in a vision. Rise, she said, Aegis of the Faith. The Maker shall never forget you, so long as I remember. The Aegis of the Faith, so named by our prophet herself, stood at her word and found his wounds healed and his spirit renewed. He gathered the ashes of Andraste and returned to the lands of the Alamari tribes, which are now Ferelden. It's said that Andraste's song led him to a holy site where Havard and his followers built a temple to house her remains. There the legend ends. For centuries men searched for the Temple of Sacred Ashes, finding only rumor and tall tales. Chantry scholars concluded that there was no temple, there was no s or there were no sacred ashes. It was all a myth allegory intended to inspire and feed the fire of faith. Then, the hero of Ferelden came. Seeking to cure a dying Arl with the miraculous powers of the ashes, the hero, with the help of renowned scholar Brother Ferdinand Genitivi, traced the steps of the ancients and came to a remote ruin high in the Frostback Mountains. There, the urn of sacred ashes waited as the legend said it would. After the triumph of the righteous over the fifth flight, the temple's discovery was shared with the world. Much to our dismay, however, by the time our soldiers arrived at the temple, the urn had disappeared. To this day, we do not know who took them or why. All that is certain is that it was the Maker's will. The hero of Ferelden did not share the city, or did not share the discovery with the world, and Brother Genitivi, whose research made it possible, had disappeared without a trace. Truth, however, will always out, and rumors circulated about the cause of Earl Eamon Guren's miraculous recovery. Agents of the Chantry investigated claims of about the urn of sacred ashes and were eventually led as the hero had been led to the temple by the time our soldiers reached it however the urn was nowhere to be found though the ashes were gone the temple itself stood and it has and has since become a source of hope for the faithful if the grand cathedral is the beating heart of our chantry then the tem temple of sacred ashes is our soul here we honor the chantry's past even as we forge bravely into our future interesting yeah, I wanted to read that codex because I wanted to see what it said about the hero of Ferelden. And... Yes, it did mention her. My Sorsha. My poor, poor Sorsha. And what the hell? What is this? Are these statues? People? Used. Seems very morbid if they are statues, and if they're not, then and if they're not, then why are they frozen like this? On fire, but stiff and frozen. Creepy. So, I was kind of wondering where we were, and I 
guess that kind of answers it. We're in Ferelden at the temple. I wasn't sure if it was this like a different thing. I wasn't sure if it was the actual temple. That same temple is what I'm trying to say. Ugh. God. Enter the temple. Well, it certainly looks very different from when the hero was here. Take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Find a way down to the rift. Okay. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? What? As a guess, the person who created the breach. Hello? You're just randomly standing there? Okay. stuff is red lyrium seeker i see it Beric. but what's it doing here magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple corrupted it <laughs> it's evil whatever you do don't touch it keep the sacrifice still learned your lesson from meredith did you Beric? someone help me that uh. is divine justinia's voice Hello? What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Kill her. Now. You were there! Who attacked? And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed, albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened, and then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready! When my character was like... <laughs> What's going on here? It like, it sounded not very surprised. Like, if you saw Divine Justinian, like, being held like that, why would you just be like, hmm, what's going on here? Well, like, what's going on here? <laughs> like, surprised, right? Lordy, lordy, okay. <laughs> yeah, that 
jump was me trying to pause. Okay, so... Can I actually use some tactics now? Well... I'm trying to move him, but it's not issuing any commands. Why? Okay. <laughs> Fucking jump. Okay. No, stop that! I- I want- I'm too used to we the other games. Strip its defenses. Wear it down. Okay, don't come towards me. Oh, does it pause the game momentarily when you, uh, try to put down a AoE thing? Might as well. Is that my mana? Quickly! Disrupt the rift! Oh yeah. Disrupt the rift. I'm trying. Okay. The demon is vulnerable. Now Let's pause if you do that. Getting used to uh, transitioning from the A2 to this. Ow. Can I disrupt it again? See, like the spells. I was wondering why I couldn't use the spells sometimes. I guess it's more like your mana comes back real fast, but the spells cost a lot. Of I guess that's. Ooh. I guess that's a way to stop your characters from like doing crazy amounts of damage at the beginning of the fight and just barreling something down immediately. Okay. Hi Varric, can you help me? So uh, this kinda hurt. Ah uh, fucking She will she like it when she does the three thing.
hell's going on with these loading screens? <laughs> I didn't know you were awake, I swear. Don't worry about it, I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Three days. Then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Why are you so scared of me? I gotta say, I do like the clothes a lot better in this game. Oh, she left the box. Herbs. Special shipment. Staff of Dragon. Patient observations. Vain hope. Someone better at this than me takes over before the survivor. Or... Oh, what notes in case. Day one. A clammy, shallow breathing. Pulse overfast, not responsive. Pupils dilated. Mage say her scarring mark is thrumming with unknown magic. Wish we could station a Templar in here, just in case. Shh. Templar. Whoa, what the hell? What's going on here? That's her. That's the Herald of Andraste. Is they that my title in this game? Andraste herself was watching over her. Hush. We shouldn't disturb her. Hero of Ferelden, champion of Kirkwall, and now a herald of our on of Andraste? I thought Seekers knew everything. Uh so secret. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. Okay. Fine uh, Cassandra. In the chantry. Yeah, what the hell is this mini-map? Mini? Who thought this was a good idea for a mini-map? I thought maybe it was just, like, in the tutorial portion or something, but... Damn, like, what the hell is this? Why does it not actually show any... mappages? So I really don't get any points to spend in my attributes. It's all done for me. Inquisition perks? Power? Huh. What was this? By standing still, you enter into a meditative state that restores your mana at enhanced rate and reduces all cool time. Or cool down times. That's very cool. Oh. That's interesting. May, like, spells interacting with each other even though they're not in the same branch? That's really weird. Well, I think right now I want to accumulate some more activatable skills, just so I have more stuff to use. I don't know if that's a good idea though, because like one Winter's Grasp uses pretty much freaking all of my goddamn mana. Well, okay, let's get the Energy Barrage, why not? Yeah, it still says Power 1, I thought maybe that meant my ability point, but it still says power one, and I'm not sure what that means. It'll maybe be explained to me at some point. Oh, 
hopefully. Andraste is Mabari. You know Andraste is old Mabari. You don't show up in the chant. And if you ask those holy sisters, well, they'll say Andraste can't have had some big old smelly war dog. But all Ferelden's know it, right? Our sweet lady needed someone who would warm her feet at night. And there's Andraste's Mabari by the Holy Prophet's side, in the fight against Tevinter that dog would never hide. They say the Maker sent him special, always loyal, without pride, so he could be the sworn companion of the Maker's Holy Bride. Oh, that dog he guards Andraste without a arrogance or fear, only asking of his mistress just a scratch behind the ears. But then old Mafrath gets to blotting, tries to lure that dog away, but even as they trap the Prophet, her Mabari never strays. And there's Andraste's Mabari by the Holy Prophet's side, in the fight against Tevinter that dog would never hide. They say that Andraste sent him special, always loyal, without pride, so he could be the sworn companion of the Maker's Holy Bride. Oh, him they thought, oh, they thought the wounds had killed him, but then he limped out towards the fire. And Hesser, Hesser, and he shed a tear as that dog laid on the air, fire, blah blah. Yes, that Mabari is the companion of the Maker's Holy Bride. A popular, if historically unlikely, Ferelden Tavern song. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now oh, it lit up something. That's her. She stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard she was supposed to close it entirely. Still, it's more than anyone else has done. Demons would have had it otherwise. Right. Wow, I can't loot while people are talking. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Someone had better. You won't seal those rifts with the chant of light. Can I get my Holy shit. Who decided to do that? When ambient conversation is going on, I can't loot? What bullshit? Patient observations day 3. Less thrashing, some response to stimulus, vitals seem solid. Two attempts so far by locals to break into the Chantry to kill my patient. All this work to save her life, and will they just execute her? We'll inform Lady Cassandra. I expect her to wake before the morn. I appear to have missed one. Oh, shut up. you guys say anything? So I can't just randomly talk to people like this. Holy crap. Blessings upon you, Herald of Andraste. Uh, ah. The Singing Maiden. <clears throat> Have you ever heard the story of King Bedwyr? Bedwyr, like most kings, was a man of great pride, who expected nothing but complete loyalty from his subjects. He believed the best way to achieve this was through fear. After all, those who feared him would never cross him or question his rule. Most importantly, those who feared him would always seek to please him. Bedwyr cultivated terror in his subordinates through the gleeful and unrestrained use of a contraption referred to as the Maiden. The Maiden was a hinged iron casket, as high and wide and deep as a man, with vicious spikes within, meant to pierce through the poor soul locked into it. Bedwyr's Maiden was a prized possession and stood in a place of honor in his throne room, often with a screaming victim inside it. Political rivals, suspected assassins, treasonous ministers, the Maiden consumed them all. But, as time passed, more people were given to the Maiden for increasingly trivial offenses. The cook for oversalting the king's food, the page boy for dropping his sword, the Maiden cast a pall over the kingdom, and his people prayed for deliverance from their cruel king. Then, one day, a strange woman rode into the city. She called herself Ember and was an emissary from a far-off land. Her leaders in her had heard, she said, of Bedwyr's wisdom and authority, and she thought the kings sought the king's counsel. The thought that he had earned the adulation of brother kings across the sea made Bedwyr swell with pride, and he granted Ember an audience. They dined and danced, and through it all, Ember flattered and fawned on the king. At the end of the night, Ember asked to see the Maiden, the infamous device that had given Bedwyr all his power. The king, giddy with praise, proudly presented Ember with the empty contraption. Ember looked at the Maiden, sighed with disappointment, and said, 
That does not look terrifying at all. I should have imagined the spikes to be much sharper. Bedrib grew red at her comment and replied, The spikes are sharp enough. Look at the blood that still clings to them. <laughs> but it is so small, said Ember. Are only children and women its victims? Bedwer grew redder still and replied, Of course not! The maiden has devoured many men! Ember shook her head and said to the king, I do not believe it. Surely no warrior could fear this thing. A man like yourself, tall and muscled, would not fit within. The king laughed and saw a way to prove the merit of the maiden to, the em to Ember. I will show you how easily a man like myself could fit he said, and with that he stepped into the device, but Ember was waiting, and no sooner had Bedwer squeezed himself into the iron casket that Ember slammed it shut on him. Ember took the maiden with the screaming Bedwer inside through the castle and down into the city, and the people, finally free from the king's tyranny, cheer and dance to the singing that echoed through the streets until Bedwer was dead in it and finally stopped. Wow. Vicious. Hello. And I can actually just jump over stuff to get to it instead of walking around. That's awesome. Speaking of which, um, I did pick up a uh, staff of the dragon, which is a lot better. Ooh, looks very fun, sir. Empty grip, empty staff blade, and empty rune. Oh, looks like there is a lot more uh, crafting stuff available. Still level 6 requirement. Kunari trained only. Interesting. Loren. Not taking orders right now. Got a problem with it? Bring it up with Cassandra. Okay. Most of the Grand Clerics have died at the Conclave. Andraste didn't have Grand Clerics, so it's not to do. She managed it nonetheless. I do can I remember him. Where is a reed thing? Chant for the departed. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next, for she who trusts in the maker fires her water. As the moth who sees light and goes towards flame, she should see fire and go towards light. The veil holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the maker shall be her beacon and her shield, her foundation and her sword. becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. The prisoner failed to seek her. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, she intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the Chantry. My duty is to serve the principles on which the Chantry was founded, Chancellor, as is yours. Okay, now that we're done eavesdropping, I'm gonna cut the video off and enter the room next time. So see you guys then.